welcome to MHS TV. I'm Drew Mason. And I'm Evan Bordner. These are your morning announcements for October 5th. Colleges are now visiting MHS. Manchester will visit on the 8th, Xavier and IU Bloomington will visit on the 9th, and Bethel College will visit on the 11th. Attention seniors, the ASVAB test is on Wednesday, October 10th. Sophomores and juniors will also be taking the PSAT that same day. Get some rest and be on time. And now, Parker Norris with tonight's weather. Thanks, Drew. Tonight, it will be cloudy with a low of 64 and a 50% chance of rain. Stay dry, enjoy the game, and go cavemen. Back to you, Drew. Thanks, Parker. Seems like some great football weather. Tuesday night, there will be a school board meeting at 7.30 at the Ad Center. You can watch a live stream on the Mishawaka Network. On Saturday, October 27th, Champions Together will be hosting a trunk or treat in the student parking lot from 5 to 7 p.m. They are in need of candy donations for this event. If you have any donations, please take them to either the athletic office or to a Champions Together member. Thank you for your support, cavemen. Are you interested in swimming or diving for MHS this season? Here's your chance. Ms. Smith is hosting a call-out meeting on October 8th in the Commons at 315. You're invited to practice from 3.30 to 5, Monday through Friday, from now until girls' season begins on October 22nd. Just come to the pool, ready to swim, and join us at preseason workouts. There will be an informational meeting for parents of swimmers and divers on October 10th at 5.45 in the pool area. If you still have questions, see Ms. Smith in room 351 anytime. Now to Daniel Z with a look at last week's sports. Thanks, Evan. The Cavemen won a hard-fought game against St. Joe 26-24. Here's a recap from Mr. Dean Huppert. Break down, old coach! Break down! Hey, listen. There ain't a team in Indiana that's got the heart and the determination of this group. Now, there's better teams, but I don't care. I'll take this one every day of the week. Have a good night. <laughs> Coach was excited with his team in the steamy locker room because the Cavemen had won another one of those close games fans have gotten used to. An incredible night at Steel Stadium as the homecoming king and queen, Megan Fry and C.J. Fisher were crowned, and Notre Dame football coach Brian Kelly was also in attendance watching his son play for St. Joe. The Indians led 14-7 at halftime as Mishawaka's only score was a Chris Harness three-yard touchdown. Well, we made some adjustments at halftime. When it was homecoming, we had a little longer halftime, and we made some adjustments and made some plays. In the second half, Harness scored again. So did Sam Shively, but the boys in Maroon still trailed by one, 21-20. St. Joe up their lead to four on a Patrick Oliva 37-yard field goal. But here come the cavemen. A huge fourth down play late in the game. Halfback pass, that kept the drive alive. Well, we put that play in this week, brand new play, and uh, it was fourth and third. We knew it was going to be open, just had to get a good pass, get a good catch, and we knew it was going to be completed. This group of guys, man, I'm telling you, there's something about them. We're, we're, not, we're not near as good as our record indicates right now, but I'll tell you, there, there ain't a team that plays as hard as we do, and there's not a team that, that stands tall in big moments, and our, our kids continue to do that. Shively gave the Cavemen the lead by two with just over three minutes to play. The game came down to this field goal. 26 to 24, Mishawaka comes through again. Four out of the last five games have been won or lost by a touchdown or less. Oh, it means everything. We play every game like it's a trophy game. So being able to uh, stay alive for the conference championship means everything. You know, this whole team, it's a brotherhood. Um, we've been together for a really long time. Um, we play melodically, we play together, and I really appreciate that. It means the world to me. They're, I fight with them, I cry with them, I, I'm in pain with them, but I'm also in joy with them. They're everything to me. At 6-1, Mishawaka has now matched our win total from a year ago. The Cavemen are 4-0 in the NIC North. Next week, rival Marion at Steel Stadium. We'll dedicate that stadium, also the new track, and honor the man who made the iron strength and conditioning room possible. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Gates open at 5.30, get here early.
The girls cross country team placed second Saturday at the Northern Indiana Conference Championship at Oxbow Park in Elkhart. Senior Kyra Young led the team with a fourth place finish, followed by fifth Quintana and sixth, both earning first team all conference honors. Rachel Ibarra earned second team honors, and Bailey Shambaugh was honorable mention with her 16th place. Rachel Williams, Ashley Myers, and Riley Banks completed the conference varsity team. Freshman Grace Serval was the top finisher in the JV race to earn a sectional roster spot. Casey Quintana led a young boys team in a fifth place at the NIC championships at Oxbow Park Saturday. Casey was third overall to earn first team NIC honors. Derek Bailey was 17th, Danny Sanchez 24th, Dylan Williams 25th, freshman Ryan Hoopengarner 34th, Ethan Bird 51st, and Levi Hall 53rd. Alex Kincannon was the top JV finisher to earn a sectional roster spot. The boys and girls teams will compete in sectionals Saturday, October 6th at Erskine Golf Course, 1 p.m. The girls varsity volleyball team beat South Bend Clay 3-0, and Mishawaka also had the honor to host the 8th grade championship game of John Young versus Northwood. Here's a recap of that game from Mr. Dean Huppert. Is that understood? Yes, sir! I love all of you guys. I want nothing but the best for you today, and you have that opportunity to go out there and take it not only for me, not only for your coaches, not only for each other, but everybody in those stands tonight that believes you can do it. It comes down to whether or not you believe in yourselves. Do we believe? Yes, sir! Do we believe? Yes, sir! Let's go! The John Young Middle School Jaguars represented Mishawaka with pride Tuesday night. The Jags came out and avenged a loss from last year in the seventh grade championship game as they knocked off Northwood in the eighth grade Big 11 championship, 22 to 16. I've been praying about this for eight years, eight long years, and we finally got one. I couldn't have asked for a better group of kids. They did exactly what we asked them to do. And looking at the scoreboard, we came out and got it done, baby. I loved them to death. This is my first year playing football. It was fun. It felt great. It's like crazy because we it was over 10 years since we won, so that's just a crazy moment for me and my partners and all that. Uh, this is one of the most memorable moments of my life. I love each and every one of my teammates. Uh, they've made this all possible, and they've just given me an ex amazing experience this year. We've grown up together from NFL since we are kindergartners, you know. It was amazing. It was one of the best moments of my life. The message we like to give the kids is moving forward, you are no longer a Jaguar. You are now a caveman. And what we want them to know going forward is that we want to see more of this. Like, we have prepared you to do what the high school does. And when you get there, you're ready, and it's time to bring home the state title. Thanks, Dean. Good luck to the varsity football team tonight as they take on Marion. If you can't make it to the game tonight, you can watch it live on the Mishawaka Network's YouTube page. And that's all the news for today. Shout out to Tommy Frailing. And shout out to Isaac Hayes. Have a great day, cavemen. Mishawaka, cavemen.